Hi guys, it's Nicola with Intimate Wisdom. So we'll be working on Leo, the reading for Leo for October the 22nd through the 29th. What do we have for Leo? October the 22nd through the 29th. What messages do we have for Leo? October the 22nd. Okay. Through the 29th. All right, so I think I put one too many. <laughs> so we're gonna put this one back. Definitely think I put one too many. All right, so let's pull some clarification. What clarification do we have for Leo? For the week of October the 22nd through the 29th. What clarification do we have for Leo? For the week of October the 22nd through the 29th. Hmm. All right, so it's definitely a time of manifesting for you guys, but Here's the problem. We got the, why well, we pulled three for Sunday? So we got the Eight of Wands, um, events moving at a fast pace, delays being over, many things happening at one time. This is Sunday for today. We also got competing gold, bothersome details, even conflict with others going on. And this could be the end of something. This could be an end of a situation or maybe the need for you to focus today. Focus, because we got the, the chariot right here, the chariot with the two of swords. So maybe you need to focus to get your point across. Maybe this is you focusing um, to see the truth of a situation. Or this is you maybe ignoring something that's going on that you really should be paying attention to today. All right, Monday we got the Two of Cups. So this represents a relationship that continues to grow. This represents forgiveness. So this could be some bothers and details. This arguing or going back and forth that I see today. Tomorrow this can be you finding a positive resolution to the conflict and forgiving. Also with this Temperance card, this is, talks about having faith and pouring your emotions into something. So maybe you're having to pour your emotions into something or watch your temper, okay? It's also going to be watching your temper. With the Ace of Pentacles Tuesday um, and the Six of Pentacles, this represents a flow of abundance, a promising business adventure, a promises business, a promising business venture, important documents or contracts. Um, with this Six of Pentacles, you could be paying off some old debts because um, this could be some core issues. This could be some judgments that you're paying off. Um, this could be bills. This could be um, things on your credit that you're paying off. This could also be an uneven amount of money going out or even coming in, okay? All right, so with these, with two Wednesday, we got the Seven of Pentacles. So this is seeds well planted. Um, this could be a temporary pause, unnecessary roar. With the King of Cups, this could be you needing to open your energy and ask others for help, okay? Um, in regards to whatever this stalemate is, Wednesday. Thursday, we got the sun. So this represents brilliant new ideas, a happy outcome. And I think it's brilliant new ideas that lead to success and having confidence in stuff because we got the ace of wands right here, which represents new creative um, projects starting, new creative adventures, new passions brewing, um, new ideas, things of that nature. Friday, we got the strength card. So this represents release and harsh judgments, um, forgiveness, compassion, even great inner strength. Along with the emperor, this is someone who has great inner strength, great confidence in themselves great pride this can also be you needing to show that strength needing to show how strong you are um and find your true calling or find your like your true strength right now we pulled two cards for saturday we pulled the ace of cups and the two of wands so this is a new love a new love coming um and new partnerships because this is definitely well be you getting into a relationship saturday um those two cards couple together means a relationship but maybe you're having second thoughts about it with that hermit card or maybe you're deciding that you want to that this may not be what you want okay or this the other person may be feeling like it's not what they want or this could be you dealing with a virgo as well Okay, so we got the Seven of Cups here for Sunday. This is a complex decision. A complex decision. The need for you to do research and stop procrastinating. Do not give up. We got the Nine of Wands right there. So that's a definite message. Whatever you're procrastinating on, you need to go ahead, focus, and get it completed. And do not give up. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull and see what we have for love. What information do we have for Leo couples? 
the week of October 22nd. We got reconciliation. That means someone from your past is returning to your life, Leo couple. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Pull one more. Mmm. Talks about opening your heart. Okay. I don't know what you got going on, Leo couples. All right. What energy do we have for Leo singles for the week of October? Leo singles. Let's see. We got financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Yes, for some of you guys, if you have a question, if this is the one, yes, this is your soulmate. Um, it says express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. This could be this person from the past that's coming in, even though it said for couples, I believe for some of my singles, it's someone from the past too. It says, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present. And it says your love life is also being affected by children. When I get anything with children, I always tell you, if you do not want a baby, wrap it up. All right, so let's pull some goddess, guidance, oracle cards. What messages do we have for Leo for the week of October 22nd through the 29th? So we pulled two, three. All right, we got all three. We got you are becoming increasingly sensitive. Avoid harsh relationships, environments, and situations. You also got independent. It says your independence is a foundation for your strength and success. And I think my Leos get that every month because y'all really are the epitome of what independence is, okay? All right, so we got goddess it says awaken the goddess within you through dance self-care and appreciating your divinity so a lot of you guys are needing to have a lot of self-confidence this week so that you can express or show to the outside world the real true beautiful you so this is all i have for my leos if you guys would like a personal read please hit me up on my email address intimate wisdom at tarot at gmail.com all my prices are in the description you can hit me up on my website www.intimatewisdom.net um if you'd like to donate to my channel you can do so through paypal it's paypal.me slash um, intimate wisdom. Yeah. Um, and this is all I got for you guys. Please comment, like, subscribe, comment, like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Until next time, guys. Y'all have a good night.